melting ice caps, rising sea levels, heat waves, we're feeling the effects of global warming more than ever. Carbon dioxide is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activities. It plays a huge role in climate change. The more CO2 we have in our atmosphere, the warmer the climate gets. Trees are important for keeping the planet's rising temperatures at bay. They absorb CO2 and they produce oxygen for all living creatures. But up to 15 billion trees are cut down worldwide each year. Based on international trade flows, the biggest contributors to tropical deforestation are China, the European Union and India. In India, agriculture, livestock grazing and tree felling for lumber destroys large areas of tropical forest every year. Some companies in India want to tackle climate change, like Seedcopter, with their innovative afforestation technology. Their drone, a UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle, plants trees from the sky. Seeding is a technique that aims to create new forests or strengthen damaged ones. The current Seedcopter project is Hara Bahara. It's ambitious. The goal is to plant 1 billion trees in India by 2030. Marit Drones is the startup behind Seedcopter's tech. If you look at the carbon emissions over the years, like it has grown exponentially over the last, last decade, and I think it will grow the same way in the near future. So there, is, there needs to be a technology which can, ha like which, which can handle it at the scale. So I think UAV aerial seeding is the way to make it happen. Each drone carries up to 10 kilograms of seed balls with up to 5,000 seeds. It flies over an area where the seed balls are dropped into the soil. Then they're supposed to grow into trees. Seedcopter's technology makes tree planting on a large scale possible. The drones can plant way more trees than people can. One drone can cover an area of over 10 hectares every day, doing the work of 40 people. Another advantage, the drones can reach areas that humans cannot. India is a very very varied geography and terrain, like deserts in Rajasthan, the Tarais in Uttarakhand, or mangroves in uh, West Bengal. So there are many regions where people are unable to reach. So there are not many activities that are going on at present. Seedcopter can reach these areas, unreachable areas, with ease. Before the aerial seeding can take place, the drones conduct an aerial survey of the territory. After that, the seed boards are prepared by local communities. The program aims to empower them by creating rural employment. Well, the main idea is to impact 900 forests with 14 districts taking the action and making the change possible. This is the main goal of the project, both rural and urban marginalized development as well as uh, afforestation. With this objective, we are moving forward with this project. Seedcopter's job isn't done with the planting of the trees. The seedlings are being closely monitored and a data hub is created to ensure the forest grows in a healthy way. So once the imagery is taken, we run some specific algorithms which can process this imagery to create optimum environment, like understand optimum environmental parameters for maximum plant growth. So based on this information, we understand like which parts of the forest needs to be taken care, where there is thin or uh, very low growth of uh, tree cover, and also what is the optimal seed ball configuration that needs to go in. Seed culture is successful at planting the trees. However, it will take time for the trees to grow and actually capture CO2. Some people criticize their methods. They talk about planting a ridiculous amount of trees, as in like the, the area of India uh, oh. to meet uh, one company's uh, carbon emissions rather than just actually get off fossil fuels. So these can sometimes be, end up having the unintended impact uh, of being a distraction from much more important conversations about decarbonisation. Aforestation should only be one of several tools to tackle climate change. Reducing our emissions in the first place is crucial if the world wants to become carbon neutral by 2050. In fact, some companies spend more time on marketing themselves as environmentally friendly than actually trying to reduce their emissions. For now, Seedcopter is planting new trees in a sustainable way. But it's also vital to conserve our existing forests so that they and our ecosystem regenerates. This will strengthen biodiversity and bring long-lasting benefits to local communities. What do you think? Does planting trees really help fight global warming? Let us know in the comments.